this is the red topped fire lookout. We'll be staying up here for three nights. We'll be working as fire lookout attendants. Just me and Sarah. No dog. Dogs aren't allowed. I also plan on doing some rock hounding. Over there is the red top agate beds. And right here I'll insert a photo of a really nice one that I got last year out there. But let's uh, save that for another video. Um, I'll be uh, showing you the fire lookout some. So this here is the red top repeater. Uh, if you're a volunteer here, um, this is the radio repeater that we use. The fire lookout's pretty cool. Um, it's been replaced several times. There's a neat little informational plaque here. So if you want, you can pause, pause the screen and give it a look. And we'll just walk around the outside and kind of show you what it's like inside the fire lookout. That's the view east, north. That's uh, actually red top. That's the agate beds. We were just out there and I actually got a couple of good finds that I'll show you. Um, one thing of interest is that cliff right there. Um, I've seen some video of somebody down there below it collecting, which that's kind of neat. So, um, got Cleelum out there. Possibly you can see the wind turbines. Small town of Liberty down there. That's Mount Rainier. It's uh, looking west. Earlier today there was a sheep herder. Had about 1,500 sheep down there. Heard them screaming all morning and day. So that's kind of interesting. Got to see a bunch of them. Some of the dogs that he had working for him were down there, and they were super friendly. So, onto the fire lookout. So, it is nice that it has a little bed. It's very stocked with cleaning supplies and toiletries. It's got a guest book. This uh, informational notebook is pretty cool. It's got a lot of geological information, a lot of information about... Some of the different plants. Um, oh, no fireworks. But yeah, it's got a lot of cool stuff that you can go through. Lots of different maps. Pretty neat. Uh, radio supplies, binoculars, all that good stuff. Plates, bowls, garbage bags. <clears throat> That's the Osborne, which I'll talk about here. All of our crap laid out. Um, one of the nice things is you can set up a hammock in here, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Maybe I can't do it one-handed. There we go. So you can set up a hammock in here, which is neat. <clears throat> Um, what else? Have the guest registry. We didn't have many guests today. Uh, about six people came up here and checked out the, the lookout. Some of the rocks that we found. If you're going over here for agates, that's what you're looking for. Round, smooth, and dense. Sarah usually says that about me. Oh, <laughs> that's the radio for talking to Wenatchee Dispatch. You do have to bring in all of your own food, water, all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, there's still some supplies here. Like somebody left some of their little fuel cans. Um, what am, I, am I forgetting anything? Well, uh, oh, uh, these are cool. So if there is a lightning storm, and that lightning storm is directly on top of you, you can sit on this 
insulated stool. There's also those ones, those two over there. Uh, if you recognize these, they are glass bell insulators from uh, telephone lines, old timey telephone lines, just glued to the legs here. Kind of a neat idea, but yeah, I mean, it functions. It, it would do the job. This is the Osborne Firefinder. So we are the center of the topo map here. Um, and the way this functions is it is a sighting tool. So you have some crosshairs. You have this, which adjusts your little sight. You can look through and find an exact point where, you know, there's smoke perhaps. And then you can exactly locate it on the map. Make a smoke report and radio it in and hopefully it's nothing. And if it's something, um, well, somebody will come and take care of that. So I just kind of wanted to give a little overview of this thing. It's really neat. Um, it's a cool program to be a part of and it's purely volunteer basis um at the time that we're doing this what it's a couple individuals get one night couples get two nights but you get to show up the evening before you actually get to get be here which is a little confusing but uh so we showed up tuesday night and we leave monday we monday night we showed up monday night and today is tuesday we leave thursday so, very pretty. It was super windy all day, but look at the view. You just get to stare at this all day. One more neat thing is uh, there's the Fire Lookout Journal, which goes back to, I believe, 94. You can read all of the other volunteer attendance journal entries, which is really cool. Weather up here changes really quickly. The clouds rolled in. to go walk around but hello not very nice out <laughs> <laughs> 